Hey guys, it's me Chandra again. So today's video we'll do the Waterfall for Message Volume 6. So this one as per November 3rd. So this is mostly main. We will talk about the version 1.4 itself. It calls When the Night Knocks. So pretty unique name. So basically, I'll just do recap as fast as I can. So let's get started. So let's start first with the new gameplay elements, which is first is Trim Link. So Dreamlink is basically a new combat mechanic that will be introduced in 1.4. This has become also part of the main event in 1.4. So Dreamlink is basically like synergy teammates attack. So similar like if you play Persona like all out attack, all of your teammates attack together. Or even like you play Aether Gazer, another gacha games. Very similar the concept like they call ultimate skill chain. So basically in here they show like Chang Li, Yin Lin and Rover attack together to the Inferno Rider. Which really like, find is pretty cool and edgy like anime moments. So uh, yeah, pretty looking forward with this. And also the second that they introduced which is Overdrive Combat Illusive Print. This is also become the main event in 1.4. This is a brand new mechanic where you can basically pick the one that looks like Catpo and you run very fast like in here and you can even bump to the enemy which is pretty funny so this feature also will be introduced to the new Resonator 2 which is Lumi itself will have the similar ability so not only like other character but Lumi also probably will have the special version of this elusive sprint itself and you can take a look Lumi also can run and have this coordinate attack from this hamster I guess this one like looks like mouse pretty cute so yeah, these two gameplay mechanic become the main event in 1.4 but also this one will become a permanent event or permanent gameplay itself. And second, they introduce new feature which is the weapon cosmetic weapon projection. This is basically weapon skins and technos. This is only for appearance. It will not change any stats. So that's good. It's only for style or drip. So this one we can obtain for free from clearing the main event. So we will get this free weapon projection. You can take a look. They already show pretty good actually. And also we will get free 4 star even weapon. So nice. One free weapon skin and one free weapon 4 star. Also don't worry it's not only for sword. They adding for all type 5 weapons. So basically all the weapon. And you can use this. Another things we can obtain another the weapon skin from clearing the elusive from. So basically the transparent weapon projection. I believe the second one. So the first one from another event, then the second one from elusive from. So how you will get this? So I think it's pretty good. We finally get a weapon skin. And third, as for the game optimization, there's a couple of them. They're actually pretty good. So first, finally, we can fast travel directly to the Tassad field or even boss without like going to the nearest checkpoint. So it's basically that place directly, which is very convenient. Also, finally, we will have option that you can even claim double for the wave plates reward. So if we can like say can save your time so become double in the same time so it will make your farm even faster which is I find is this is good if people that busy another thing which is the echo upgrade level finally we will have option for no cap and level cap so if you choose level cap it will stop either like level 5 level 10 15 something like that. similar like star rail or even like genshin that they already apply so probably if you're familiar with that that's basically the same like that so you have option which is nice i can say also we will have interface optimization which is the first one we will have this mini pop-up for the wave plates so finally we don't need to check map anymore so they will just show how many that you have right now so everything in one screen so just below this menu i that we should already have which is pretty nice and convenient second whenever you farming the echoes and absorb them you don't need to open your echo tab and check oh what's that that i get let's say you aim for attack finally you can just show oh this one only defense so i can just ignore it so this is pretty nice so finally they will show not only the echo but also the main sun and subset and lastly is the optimization for tower adversity so basically they say they will improve and optimize so you can adjust your team directly in the tower I believe this one finally you can keep changing your equipment in tower without you have to leave because before sometimes you can do that sometimes after you already clear you cannot change the equipment so kind of annoying you have to leave and I think this one that they kind of want to optimize which is I think it's pretty a good feature too so yeah that's everything about Woo developer message in general it looks interesting so in very brief I want to recap we will have two different combat mechanics first is Dreamlink this is basically team synergy attack all of them attack at once pretty much nice and second we'll have this new sprint feature that can even bump the enemy elusive sprint this is also will become of one of the feature that we will have in Lumi kind of similar ability you can take a look in here new feature is weapon skin can get from the event in 1.4 and all weapon will can get this skin not only for sword 
also gaming optimization finally we will have like fast travel directly to the desert field and boss also you can do like double reward claim so can make your time of farming is faster and also we will have option for the for you to level up your echo have cap or level cap for every five level so pretty much nice another like interface pop out like optimization finally wave plates will already show in your main screen don't need to open map after that echo whenever you want to absorb finally show the main stat and sub stat so pretty convenient without checking the echo tabs and lastly on tower adversity we will have like optimization like we can adjust directly the team in tower without leaving so pretty much nice so yeah that's a very brief short recap about Vua developer message for 1.4 so yeah looking forward especially we know Camilla will coming soon looking for what they are cooking so yeah if you like this video feel free to hit the subscribe button and like and i'll see you next time bye bye